So, and then the New Testament it says, and the evil spirit yes, yes. of the Lord troubled him. Today I wanted to talk about yesterday's anointing. Yesterday's anointing. I'm saying that to say once again I'm going to preach to myself because I have to keep focus on what God has called me to do, what he's called us to do. And we cannot get distracted and we cannot think that we can keep on striving on yesterday's Amen. anointing. Amen. Amen, somebody? Amen. And I say that because the pros and cons of yesterday's anointing, first, I, I want to point out this, this to you, that the Spirit of God departed from Saul. Hmm. Let's imagine that. The Spirit of God departed from Saul. See, Saul ministered into an area he was not qualified to minister in. You can take a look at it in 1 Samuel and Samuel 13, 5 and 14. But fear caused Saul to minister in an area he was not anointed to minister in. And God took his spirit from Saul and allowed an evil spirit to enter into Saul. But the only way an evil spirit entered into Saul is because God took his anointing away from Saul. Saul, yeah, from Saul. Yeah. And, and it led into him understanding his own mindset. Understand and understand and then backsliding. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to say it again. The only way an evil spirit entered Saul is because God took away his anointing. Amen. Amen. Took away his anointing from Saul and that led him to understanding his own mindset and started to backslide. But then see, Saul promotes himself. He promotes himself to an anointing that he was not qualified to minister in at all. It was what, the, but then you might say, okay, well, what is the anointing? Since then when the spirit himself is allowed to take over a person's life Amen. and uses them for his glory, not for self-glory, but for his glory. And I say that because sometimes, I, even at certain funerals I've been to, I, I see where people were trying to, to, to show how good they can talk and, and preach and, and play with people's emotions instead of staying to scripture. Amen. See, they was doing what they wanted to do, not what God had told them to do. Amen. But I say this because it's not just for Sunday, it's for every day. Hallelujah. A person's life is used for his glory, not our glory. Amen. See, he, the spirit, bypasses education. It bypasses culture. It bypasses prestige. Yeah. See, it's when that you have been taught on how to stand or how to speak, etc. It counts for nothing. Amen. See, when we allow the anointing of the Holy Ghost to have the right of way in our lives, we'll be able to feel things and do things that we have not even expected. Amen. I can sit up here and read notes all day long and preach everything that I've been wrote down all week long, trying to print out a scripture, trying to get things right, trying to make rhyme and reason sound right. But God will change everything that I wrote down to make sure that he's getting his message across. Amen. Amen, Amen somebody? See, when we allow the anointing of the Holy Ghost to have the right of way in our lives, we'll be able to feel things and do things yes. that we have not even expected. Hallelujah. It will convict sinners Amen. who have not wanted to be convicted or converted. Amen. Even as children, we must accept the limits of our anointing in the same way that God told Moses the children of Israel and the leaders that can do. He said, see, some can handle 50, some can handle 100, some can handle 1,000. Amen. But see, everybody thinks they can handle 1,000. That was not your anointing. That's not what God said. He said he wanted you to only handle 50. Amen. Amen. But see, every one of us should know our limitations. Yes. Yes. And never minister out of the area of our anointing. Yes. See, the problem is that some of us have higher expectations of ourselves than God has for us. Amen, amen. amen somebody? Amen. See, Psalms 1 and 3 says, For he knows our frame. He remembers that we are just dust. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 43 says, But now, thus says the Lord, who created you, O Jacob, and when he informed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. Amen. 
Verse 2 says, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, you shall not overflow. You shall not overflow. Because when we walk through the fire, you shall not be burned. You shall flame, scorch. Yes. Nothing will touch you. Hallelujah. Verse 3 says, For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I gave Egypt for your ransom, Ethiopia and Saba in your place. Amen. See, the saints are the, the singing in the church that have thy own way. When we sing that song, when we really sing that song, uh, uh, have thy way, have your own way, O Lord. Yes. Yes. I wonder what God was going through God's mind. When we sing that song, I wonder if God is saying, okay, really? If I had his way, if I had your way, what would happen? Amen. If I really had the way that you sing in this song, what will happen? Amen. I, I hear the song just being said, uh, I just need a little bit more Jesus. I need a little bit more Jesus. Amen. I need all of Jesus I can get. Amen. I don't need a little. I, I, I need all. Amen. I need a lot more Jesus. Yes. Yes. So we got to remember what God's will is. Yes. The song sounds good, but are we really feeling it? Yeah, it's like this song, Thank You, Lord. I, that's the only song I can think of is Thank You, Lord. Yes, thank You. Thank You for waking me up this morning. Thank You for getting me through another week. Yeah, I can sing all the, you look so much better when you smile, but I can't smile unless I got Jesus, Holy Ghost in me. Yeah. Amen, somebody? Amen. But I'm telling you, there's a problem with yesterday's anointing. Yes. The problem with yesterday's anointing is lifted. Amen. There's always those who want to admit Amen. to withdrawal of the spirit. See, yesterday's anointing was real, but God may not want to be manifested today the exact same way because it was for yesterday. Amen. He want a fresh anointing for you. See, secondly, those who work it up or trying to keep yesterday's anointing alive, if we only kept yesterday's anointing alive, God will never be able to impart in us today's anointing. Amen, somebody? So many of God's people that was anointed yesterday are now full of bitterness. Amen. Full of rage. Hallelujah. Brawling, slander with every form of malice. Yes. And I say that because and I, and I preach to myself. I tell the truth, saying the devil. Yes, I could have been anointed yesterday. I could have been anointed last Sunday and preached and hooped and hollered and thank you, Jesus. And then as soon as I go out into this world and, and somebody come to attack me and I'm thinking I could just cruise on that same anointing, not get back on my knees, not asking God, please help me. I need a fresh anointing. That yesterday's anointing that got me all in a whole nother rage because I wasn't able to get down on my knees and ask God, for a fresh anointing. Amen. Amen. Amen, somebody. We can't just keep going on the same day anointing. Ephesians 4 and 30. It says, do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, mm. but whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speak and be put away from you with all malice. Amen. And be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God Christ forgave you. Yes, amen. And we have to do that because yesterday's anointing, we wake up and be so happy. Yesterday's anointing, we could be happy, we can go to sleep happy, but then as soon as somebody called us on the phone or as soon as somebody, we get something in the mail, that yesterday's anointing is gone because now it's like, okay, I really got this thinking, thinking, and now I done got upset about something, but that was yesterday's anointing because I wouldn't have got upset yesterday, but now since I didn't get and ask God for a fresh anointing, now I'm in malice. Amen. I'm bitter, wrath, anger. My point is, Amen. we need to come to terms where I suddenly become yesterday's anointing. Hallelujah. It will do us no good to pretend that what happened yesterday is happening today. Amen. See, if this isn't, if it isn't the momentum hmm. of yesterday's anointing or the impulse of yesterday's anointing, the push, the thrust, the impact hmm. of yesterday's anointing can bring powerful thoughts to our mind. Amen. And have you said, Lord, bring back those good old days. Amen. 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 Somebody see when, when God turned Saul into another man, it was momentum. Momentous. He, he wanted him to continue. But when you think you know it all and you got it all, you lost it all. Amen. 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 Samuel 10 and 11 says, and it happened. When all he knew, his former, former Saul, 
that he seen indeed prophesied among the prophets. That the people said to one another, what is this that this man has come upon the son of Kish? Yes. And so also among the prophets? See, it was a wonderful moment in Israel. Amen. And a pivotal moment Amen. for Saul. Yes. But often, what if the momentum, Amen. momentum just doesn't last? Hallelujah. See, while we remind ourselves of yesterday, mm. it can become but a bare resemblance of yesterday's anointing. Amen. Amen. See, yesterday might not be so good as it could be today. But see, in, case, in Saul's case, he could still prophesy. See, it says the Spirit of God departed from him. He was coasting along that momentum of yesterday's anointing. See, certain manifestations of the authentic work of God can be repeated. Amen. 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 But somehow themselves, if you, it's, it's like that lamp, them, them old wick lamps. You, you think you're doing something, and, and you know how you pour the, the oil under the wick lamp, and it's burning. Amen. And then it don't have no more oil, but you still got a little bit of flame. Amen. So you can be working off that little bit of flame, and there's no more oil that's being poured in to give you that fresh anointing. Amen. Amen, somebody? Amen. We have to continue to ask God. We need a fresh anointing daily. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I say that because God's call, the calling of God, is revocable. Amen. And I say that because his word says in Romans eleven twenty nine, for the gifts and the calling of God are without repentance. Amen. But see, a person who had a tremendous anointing yesterday can continue to see the momentum that of that anointing continuing to manifest itself, and as he may hastily conclude that the anointing is still the same, and it's not. Amen. See, only the, the momentum of yesterday's anointing can keep you going for yesterday. You need a fresh anointing every single day that's going on in this world. Mm, hallelujah. The truth is going to be like, like a hypocrite. Let's say this. Amen. A hypocrite in, in, in my personal life. And yet my gift can still continue to function. It's like, a, it's like people that come in and prophesy and lay hands. Uh, just to give you a, a little synopsis. A person can preach good. They can, oh yeah, God said, he's going to bless you on today. Stand to your feet and give the Lord a neck praise. God is going to work to work with you today. Everything that you had going on in your life is removed. You can do all that. Amen. And then he goes out and he's drinking and he's smoking. Amen. Right. See, he got that gift. But he don't have that anointing to lay hands on nobody. Amen. And be delivered. You can't, have, you can't have that anointing to be able to lay hands on somebody and say, you come out, demon. Come out. Or if you want to be delivered from smoking, be delivered from drinking, be delivered from fornicating, be delivered from whatever it is. But you don't have that anointing because you're doing the same thing, but you still got a gift without repentance where you're able to preach and say, ah, everything they think, you think they want to hear. Amen. Amen. Ah, it's a difference. They'll catch it. Yes. They'll catch it. The gift without repentance. But I say it all the time. God is a God that will hire you. Yes. The only employer that will hire you and let you keep on working. Amen. And really fired you a long time ago. Amen. You? Amen, somebody. Amen. But it means that God will not withdraw him from preaching. Just simply because he has not been a loyal or obedient son. He gave certain abilities. See, when he made people, he called them into the ministry by studying and hard work. Amen. But we can improve upon those gifts with a fresh anointing that can come only from the continually blessings and intimate relationship with God. Amen. See, it's possible that there are those who sincerely don't know better. Amen. It's possible. Yeah. See, they're well-equipped, high-powered, eloquent speaking, charismatic, their ministries bless people. Yes. But they're still on that yesterday's anointing. Hallelujah. See, these people that are, are, are used by God may sincerely believe that they're pleasing God because of their anointing of functioning on yesterday. Amen. Amen, somebody? Amen. Come on, tell, touch yourself. Say, I'm up under God's anointing. Yes. I got a fresh anointing. Yes. Yes. I know how to ask for that fresh anointing. We have to ask for it. Amen. But it could be yesterday's anointing. Hallelujah. But there'd be nothing wrong about yesterday's anointing if you stand in yesterday. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Because see, somebody might say, well, well, what's wrong with, the, with, with yesterday's anointing? 
What's wrong with that? And I'm going to tell you, there's a lot of wrong with it because God knows what's going on. And after a while, he's going to expose you. Amen, Amen somebody. That's why I read that Bible and sign it out. I don't care. I, Lord, let me, let me tell the truth, shame the devil. I need some help. I'm not getting ready to say up here. I'm all saved and filled with the Holy Ghost each and every day. When somebody that did something against the church, somebody did something against my mama, somebody did something against my kids. Lord, I need some help because I did have some stinking thinking. I'll tell the truth and shame the devil. Can't nobody tell on me better than I can tell on myself. But I can also tell you I know how to get on my knees. Every time I walk into this door, I get on my knees. Lord, I need a fresh anointing. Because I just came off of them streets and seen this and got mad at the Avalanche. They wouldn't pick up the man that was dead on the, on the floor. That I get upset because they killed a little 18-year-old boy that didn't have nothing to do at Friday Night Lights Park. Amen. Amen. That, that, that upsets me as a man. Amen. Hallelujah. But God said, anger lies in a fool. So I have to make sure I don't want to be no fool in his eyes. Amen. Amen, somebody? Amen. But I will tell the truth. I was acting like a fool. Like, what's wrong with y'all shooting in the park Amen. with these little kids? Mm -hmm. yes. And I had to go home last night and say, Lord, forgive me. Hallelujah. Forgive me. Amen. But this flesh will rise up. Yes. Because when I see little kids getting hurt in the park and I see things that's going on, that's, and it, it's just... It can be disturbing. Amen. Hallelujah. But I remember my pastor telling me, he said, don't be angry. Yes. He said, it's okay to be disturbed. Hallelujah. But don't be angry. Amen. See, God wants to replenish us. Amen, somebody? Amen. He wants us with a fresh anointing that comes only from a life of intimacy with him. Total obedience. Amen. It's walking in the light and seeing his face daily. If we continue in yesterday's anointing, God may decide enough is enough. Amen. If we, if we just go into yesterday's anointing, God may say, okay, enough is enough. You're not asking for nothing fresh. Amen. Amen. They put us in a category of yesterday's man and woman. Yes. The same thing that happened to King Saul. He became yesterday's man prophecy. Hallelujah. But he still acted like he was a king. Amen. Amen. See, Saul was counting on yesterday's anointing. And this is what's wrong, what's happening to ministers today and pastors, elders and bishops and, and the ears of thousands, but not the ear of what they hear is supposed to hear from God. Amen. And so much things are the things that I see now where people are calling each other bishops and ministers and pastors and it's just, it's, not, it's not going by what the word of God said. Amen, amen. Mm -mm. Saul was counting on yesterday's anointing. And I say that because they're, they're counting on things. Even when you hear when people are teaching about preaching and, and, and prosperity preaching instead of holiness. Yes. I say it all the time. People want a little bit of Genesis, a little bit of Mark, a little bit of Matthew, a little bit of Jeremiah, but they don't want the revelations. As soon as you start talking about the blessings, this church will be full. Oh, he's going to bless you abundantly, which he will, but you have to be obedient to receive those blessings. Amen, amen. amen somebody? Amen. But we got to remember, we can't be counted on yesterday's anointing. Sometimes when we're being afflicted by the word of God, and convicted by the word of God. It's not what the pastor says. It's not what the preacher said. It's what the, it's what the infallible, unadulterated word of the Bible says. That's what the Bible is. Basic instructions before leaving earth. So you got to take it all. But we need a fresh anointing. The fresh anointing is essential. It's what replenishes the irrevocable. See, if our irrevocable anointing is not replenished by the fresh touch of God, we're dependent on yesterday's anointing. Our reward in heaven will not be determined by yesterday's anointing, but by today's fresh anointing. Amen. Amen. Second Corinthians 5 and 10 says, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that each may receive the things done in the body according to what he has done, whether good or bad. See, people won't receive a, a reward on how well I preached. Amen. That's not, that's not, not receiving a reward. If you receive a reward, how many souls did you send to me? They always say, oh, oh, I hear people say, I'm going to save your soul. You ain't got the power to save nobody's soul. You got the voice that God has given you, the anointing that God has given you to lead him to Christ to get your soul saved. Amen. We got to stay in our lane. Amen. 
And I say that because that's the anointing when people start thinking they can do the work of God. I tell people in a minute, I am not as strong as Jesus. I'm still a Peter. But I want to be as strong as Jesus. But I say that because when you start thinking that you know it all and you got it all, that's when you fall. And you'll be just like Saul. But to be rewarded for the things that we think we have that we that God has given us this gift Amen. because he said a gift comes without repentance yeah, but he wants to give us a fresh gift each and every day Amen. to be rewarded by God with these yesterday's anointing these yesterday's gifts is nonsense Amen. first Corinthians said for who for who makes you differ from another and what do you have that you did not receive? Now, if I did indeed receive it, why do you boast? Amen. Is that you have received it? So you can't be boasting on, uh, boasting on, on what I can do and what the gift that God gave me. That's not for you to boast. Amen. You can't boast because you got a, a, a mega million dollar church. That's not your church. That's God's church. Amen. Oh, I did this. I did this. I bought this car. No, you didn't. God gave it to you. And he can take it away if you think you're going to go keep on staying on that yesterday's anointing. Amen. See, God is not going to reward me for a gift that he gave me. My reward is in heaven. Yeah. It'll come entirely by whether how I preached and what I preached. Amen. I can't sit up here and just be preaching, preaching on emotions, making people feel good without telling them everything to Genesis or 11 and Revelations. That's not how I'm going to get a gift from God. Amen. He said, okay, well, you told the good and you told the condemnation part. Hallelujah. And the people that need to hear it need to hear it. Amen. Preaching strictly what the Holy Bible says and placing the utmost priority on the intimacy with God. And see, if my anointing is given me yesterday, it's replenished with the fresh anointing that comes each and every day when I say, Lord God, I need some help. Yesterday, I did get angry. Yesterday, I got upset at the paramedics. Yesterday, I got upset when people was coming against the church. Yesterday, I got upset because they had so many entertainers and not enough people that's preaching the infallible word of God. But I need your help. Because there's no sin greater than the other. Amen. I say it all the time. It could be a murderer or a person stealing the Snickers. But it comes to the point where you want a fresh anointing. Amen. You got to ask God for it. And I say that because we have to continue to open our hearts and our minds and allow God to give us a fresh anointing. Yes. Let us not, watch this. Let us not be like Joseph and Mary. Amen. See, they were on their way back to Galilee. Hallelujah. Thinking that Jesus was with them. They was thinking Jesus was with them. But he was not. Amen. They had to go back and find him. Amen. Because they left him. Hallelujah. See, that's what God wants us to do. He wants us, wants us to go back and find him. Let them know that sometimes we can walk and step in front of him. We can step too fast and think, okay, well, this is what God wants us to do. And he called me to do this. He told us to do this. But we didn't go to God first. And we left God. Okay. But for that first time, fresh anointing, we got to go back and get it. Amen. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. We, God wants us, to, wants us to continue to depend on, on him daily. Amen. Not to depend on yesterday's anointing. Hallelujah. We, we got to continue to seek God for a fresh anointing each and every day. Yeah. And I say that because we in this world, but not of this world. And I, you know that the enemy is busy, Hallelujah. but God is busier. For when we leave out of here, we go somewhere else. Just because we have a fresh anointing, Amen. we know that we're making the enemy mad. Yes. I don't even like to use the word devil because the devil can be, I don't give him no victory. Yes. It's enemies. So it's just some enemies that got a devil in spirit. Because sometimes it can be a person with a suit on or a dress on and it's an enemy and knowing that we just came from church by being blessed, somebody could call us on the phone and try to block our blessing Amen. by us getting upset because we had yesterday's anointing. Hallelujah. But I'm just asking yes. and praying once again, Amen. preaching to myself, Amen. I'll be the first to say, Hallelujah. Lord forgive me. Yes. Lord, forgive me amen, amen. for being upset yesterday for what's going on in the world. Amen, amen. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to pray yes. for that little boy's family. Hallelujah, hallelujah. But I ask in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, that you continue to give us a fresh anointing each amen. and every day. Amen. 
because we know it's the anointing that destroys the yoke. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And we have some yokes on us, Lord, but you have blessed us abundantly. Yes. And we ask that you continue to bless us. Amen. Abundantly. Amen. And I ask in the name of Jesus, Lord, convict us if we're yes. doing something yes. wrong. I'll be the first to say it. Amen. If it's something that's not in your will, Lord, sit me down Hallelujah. on my knees so I can get a fresh anointing. Hallelujah. Because we know that this flesh rises daily. Yes, yes. But we know we can always ask for a fresh anointing from you. Amen. To continue Amen. to do the work you call us to do. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. Yes. Amen. 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 Come on, let's give the Lord a hand. Praise. Amen. Amen. I needed that for myself to be rejuvenated, regenerated. Amen. But I need a fresh anointing every day. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. You have to. You have to. Yes. I'm now going to turn it over to Mother Wilson, that fresh anointing, hallelujah. fresh tithes and offerings. Yeah, praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Let's just do what we have to do in a fresh anointing as far as evangelizing. And I say that too because as a preacher, as a preacher, as a pastor, I have to always correct myself. Amen. Amen. And I say that because it's frustrating when you don't, you know, when you're inviting people all week yeah. long and they always say, oh, I'll be there. I'll Amen. be there. I'm Amen. coming. But can you do this for me? Yeah. Can you do this for me? Can you do, can you do it? I need this. Amen. All week long. Yeah. And I say, well, yes, you're going to come to church. <laughs> and then, you know, as a pastor, they don't show. I have to ask God for a fresh anointing. Amen. Because I don't want to call him back saying, why are you lying to me? I'm just being transparent. <laughs> but it's the truth. I tell the truth, shame the devil. And we have to get to a place where we can't get frustrated. Because, you know, God is always going to bless us. He has here who he wants here. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Y'all receive the word on today? Amen, amen. I want to say too, I know how it is, Sister Shannon. Now, don't don't get discouraged. And I say that because I say the same thing in Greater Children Temple when it's only a few of us, and it seems like we're the only one doing the work, the only one participating, the only one here. God is well pleased. Amen. Amen. He is. And I say that because I know how it can be when it's just a few week after week after week. Then the, the ones that are here that's loyal, that's doing everything, they can get a little discouraged. I, I, I mean, you can understand. It's like you're going to your job every day and you, you're picking up the slack for other people. Amen. You know, but I want to say stay encouraged. Stay encouraged. And I can't say, but I can sing a joyful nose to the Lord. So now you want to sing it. Just give me a beat and I will sing with you. But, but keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Brother, please just keep coming and we're going to build this church. Amen. Yeah. Another announcement too, Sister Shannon, if I may. Uh, August 26th, correct, for the, um, we're going to, August 26th, we're going to do a community event. Just let them know we, that we're here, we're open. Um, we're trying to get some resources now, so if anybody you know, have any resources where we can make it into like a back to school backpack giveaway or whatever we have. Um, you know, we can just all work together. Amen. Uh, we all work together and make it happen. Amen. Okay? Amen. Amen. Standing all over the building. Hallelujah. I'm actually praying, pray, Minister Nando, pray us out. Most gracious Father, we thank you once again for allowing each and every one of us to come into your house to yes. worship together, Lord. To show, Lord, yes. that we really love you. Hallelujah. You said, why do you call me, Lord, and do not do what I say? Amen. And Lord, we're here to do what you say for you. Amen. Because we really love you. Amen. And we only learn how to love because you are love. Yes. And yes. you taught us how to love. Amen. And that's what we want. So I thank you, Lord, for the word here today, Father, for a fresh anointing, Father. I thank you that you've given each and every one of us a fresh anointing, that we may do the will when we step out of your house, Father. We thank you for the comfort that you've given us. We thank you for the love. We thank you for the mercy and grace, Lord. And Lord, we know in your time, 
yes. build this church. Hallelujah. We thank you right now. Thank you. you said you show faithful in the little things, yes. and you will show us a lot. Lord, give Amen. us the responsibility of a lot. Amen. So we thank you, Lord, thank that we are faithful thank in this little thing. Thank you. And like my, my big brother always say, it is not the numbers. We yes. make numbers count. Yes. Lord, we thank you thank right you, now in the name you. of Jesus yes. for your word, Lord, you. that it may feed our spirit to continue on and do yes. the work that thank you called us to do. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray and we thank you, Lord, as we lift up your name yes. so that all men may be drawn unto you, Father. Yes, Lord. Yes. We just honor you and glorify you in this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Well, once again, they Please come back next Sunday. Amen. Amen. Let's ask God for that fresh anointing Hallelujah. that we're going to need. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. <laughs> that fresh anointing. But know that he will give it to us. Amen. Amen. All we have to do is ask. Thank you once again for coming. We'll see you on next Sunday. Amen. God bless you.